Kim Kardashian reportedly stopped taking ex-husband Kanye West calls amid his anti-Semitic firestorm. And on Friday, Kim was spotted ending her birthday at nine-year-old daughter North's basketball game with her eldest son Saint, six, with ex-Kanye shortly arriving to the game as well. Kanye, who recently said he and Kim were only divorced on paper, was seen arriving to the game separately looking somber, amid his string of controversies. Kim, who turned 42 on Friday, spent the evening of her birthday with her son Saint and her pals while taking in North's basketball game. She showcased her svelte frame in a black jumpsuit with a coordinating Balenciaga bag and flip-flops. The mom of four wore her blonde locks loose around her as she was seen heading inside and taking a seat courtside for the game. Kim was seen grinning ear to ear as she headed inside for North's basketball game in LA. Kanye, 45, looked somber as he arrived by himself, sporting a zippered hoodie, with a 2024 baseball cap and jeans. He recently reignited tensions between himself and Kim by airing out their custody issues and making claims about the Skims founder in the media. She has reportedly distanced herself from the rapper and isn't answering Kanye's calls, according to TMZ. The reality superstar filed for divorce in February 2021 just before what would have been the pair's seventh wedding anniversary. West and Kardashian share four children, North, 9, Saint, 6, Chicago, 4, and Psalm, 3. West previously stated that his ex-wife basically 80% of the time, raises those children. Kardashian, who was represented by divorce attorney Laura Vosser, was declared legally single this past March while in the midst of a hot and heavy romance with SNL alum Pete Davidson. West attempted to oppose Kim's efforts to be declared legally single, however a judge granted her request. The Skims founder and Davidson split in August after nine months of dating. The Blast recently reported that West is preparing to finally settle his divorce with Kardashian, over a year after she first filed paperwork to end their marriage. It was claimed that West's lawyer has filed a declaration of disclosure, a sign that their case is on the verge of coming to a close. According to the documents, the rapper has turned over all of his financial information to his estranged wife's legal team, and has also reached an agreement with her on how to divide their finances and property. The troubled rapper's outing comes after he branded ex-wife Kim a good Christian woman and slammed her on She Shoots as adult channel material in a candid new interview. Speaking to Piers Morgan, the embattled rapper who was married to Kim from 2014 to 2022, said he only considers the pair divorced on paper. West is currently facing a storm of controversy over anti-Semitic comments in which he vowed to go death con 3 on Jewish people. He said, I may be divorced on paper but am not divorced of the idea of being the protector. Her name is no longer West. And my name is now only Yi. If we were ever to be together again, what would our name be? Kim Ye? Asked if he still loves her, he said, absolutely, and I will love her for life, and oddly enough I will protect her. We'll always be together. Yeah. Therese no person that you'll ever get with that will influence her more than God and then her priest on earth, which was me. The star then took aim at Kim's raunchy September interview magazine cover, which saw her expose her famous derriere in a jock's trap. He said, Kim is a good Christian woman and she's not here just to have content up on adult channels. Kim to you know, as a billionaire mother, 
a lawyer, and a mother of four Jew, black children, to do covers, like interview, and that's what happens when they take the dads out the home and that's what they've been doing in the hood. They take the fathers, and the leaders, out of the homes. At the time of his initial anti-Semitic tweets, West claimed that he couldn't be anti-Semitic because all black people are also Jewish. The funny thing is I actually can't be anti-Semitic because black people are actually Jew also. You guys have toyed with me and tried to blackball anyone who ever opposes your agenda, Kanye wrote last week. He later said to Piers, I will say I'm sorry for the people that I hurt with the death con, comments. I feel like I caused hurt and confusion. And I'm sorry for the families of the people that had nothing to do with the trauma that I had been through, and that I used my platform where you say hurt people hurt people. I was hurt. The rapper and clothing designer said on Piers Morgan Uncensored that he was only referencing certain Jewish people who he believes have screwed him over. On his four children he shares with Kim, he told Piers, I want my kids to finish their education, I know that my album was called The College Dropout. But when I look at the way you know, just like you said your kids are in the University of Chicago, we need the education. That's another thing to be jealous about. Ye was pressed by Morgan on whether his anti-Semitic remarks were racist, and he says they were, although at one point, the rapper says it's not racism when asked about his comments. When you insult the Jewish people and say you're going death con 3 on the Jewish people, that is as racist as anything you say you've been through, Morgan said. Racism is racism and you know that I think. Don't you? The rapper's Twitter account was later suspended after his tweets. Kanye has now lost a major business deal with fashion house Balenciaga. On Friday WWD reported that Balenciaga had dropped the troubled rapper who has been on a tirade lately calling for death to Jews who have wronged him and also calling President Biden the R-word. Meanwhile, his ex-wife Kim still models for the French brand. Parent company Caring said the French fashion house would no longer be working on projects with the rapper and fashion designer who has legally changed his name to Yi. Balenciaga has no longer any relationship nor any plans for future projects related to this artist, Caring told WWD. Earlier this month West made his surprise modeling debut at Paris Fashion Week. The singer opened Balenciaga's SS23 show, walking down a muddy catwalk. Demna, creative director of the luxury fashion brand, Explain that the mud is a metaphor for digging for truth and being down to earth. The Georgian fashion designer explained, individualism in fashion is downgraded to pseudo trends dictated by a post in stories of some celebrity of the moment. Fashion in its best case scenario should not need a story to be sold to someone. Let us let everyone be anyone. This comes as David Schwimmer demanded Adidas drop West for making anti-Semitic remarks. The Friends actor, 55, shared a video of West, 45, saying, The thing I can say about Adidas is, I can literally say anti-Semitic ST and they can't drop me, I can say anti-Semitic things and Adidas can't drop me. Now what? Now what? Schwimmer captioned his post, Now what? Adidas? Before posting join me and the Anti-Defamation League in demanding Adidas hashtag run away from hate and sharing a link to a petition from campaign against anti-Semitism calling for West to be dropped which has garnered more than 3,000 signatures. Earlier this month Adidas, who launched its collaboration with West's brand Yeezy in 2015, 
put their business partnership with the rapper under review following his anti-Semitic tweets in which he vowed to go death con 3 on Jewish people.